everybody, it's Gemma. Hope you're well. Welcome to Body Fix It. So, if you have sciatica, what are some really simple things you can do? Your next tip is making sure you're drinking enough water. Sounds really weird and silly, but actually, if you're drinking enough water, it affects your digestion, how you sleep, uh, your energy levels, what type of food you eat, but also your nervous system. So, your nerves are what are transmitting the pain signals to your brain and your spinal cord. And if they're not working as well, maybe they. Um, water is going to affect how well your nerves transmit and whether they work well or not. So a lot of people find that if you drink more water, and I say as a baseline, you're thinking two litres in a day. Now, some people, what they do is they try and do that in one go. So they'll have a pint glass and they'll drink a whole pint glass, but actually your body is unable to absorb that water that quickly and concentrated. You'd be better off a little bit and often throughout the day and then you won't pee it straight out. So think first thing in the morning, keep it going throughout the day. If you're worried about peeing all night, maybe tail it off by four o'clock, five o'clock so that you've got most of it throughout the day and then you will feel better um, and also not pee all night. Make sure it's water, tea and coffee um, don't count because they've got caffeine in them. Maybe hot, hot water definitely counts, but things um, like herbal teas, if they're decaffeinated, then they do count. So make sure you're getting your water a little bit and often, and that will help your nerve pain, it will help your aches and pains, it will help your energy levels, your stress levels, and help you sleep better. So all in all, it's a win-win and something quite simple that you can do to help you feel better. So I tend to have a pint glass and um, I have that throughout the day so that I know how much I have drunk and it's there in front of me all the time, so I drink it more often. Uh, if you're in hot weather, drink more, but also if you're exercising, you will need more to replenish what you have sweated out. Hope that helps. Check back tomorrow for your next tip for sciatica.